Welcome to Dose of Substance, the podcast for mature minds, self-aware, and bold spirits. Some of the comments may be too hot to handle, so if you can't take it all in at once, take it, take it, take it, take it in doses. Or not bad to listen to nothing. Sponsored by Minds Tease Collections and the Substance Music Group. Greetings, 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 everyone. Um, welcome back, welcome back to Dose of Substance podcast. Now, firstly, I would like to say um, big up to all of who actually subscribed during the course of this week, and for all of who decided to follow the Instagram page during the course of this week as well. You know, your support is greatly appreciated. You know, I mean, um, last when was it i think it was thursday i actually released the intro to the podcast and you know what can i say i feel i feel grateful to know that it was well received and you know a few persons reached out to me anticipating this episode one which is the official kickstart of the dose of substance podcast you know what i mean so before we even get into anything i would like to say go ahead and subscribe now if you haven't as re- already go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel that's substance vivo s-u-b-s-t-a-n-c-e vivo one word you will find it subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification so you can know whenever you know i drop a new video or a new audio you know from the podcast you know what i mean so go right ahead and do that and for the instagram page it's dose of substance podcast dose of substance podcast one word and um shout out to everyone that's been you know giving me massive thumbs up you know um this is a journey that i've always wanted to take on you know what i mean so i am still bubbling with joy from a few days ago when i launched the intro to now finally be sitting here knowing that this is episode one and i am ready to take you on that journey now for this week the topic will be your relationship versus your inner peace your relationship versus your inner peace but before we go into the topic let me shout out some people i want to say shout out to the sponsors seafood wagon the best seafood place right now in a client at maypen right around uh, Longbridge this so seeing right on Versailles, seafood wagon shout out i also want to give a major shout out to agents of change um biz care consulting group you know what i mean we're talking about um these people are friends of mine that are doing massive things and i i cannot go forward without shouting them out you know what i mean jazzy jewels jazzy jewels as well you know but how can we forget the main sponsors substance music group Mind Steez collection. When I say Mind Steez collection, you're looking at one of the product from Mind Steez collection right now. You know the QR code right here. You scan this, takes you to the website, the social media page, and all that. So, yeah, big up to them, Brandy, and you know, sophisticated dreams as well. And how can I forget Avian Styles, the person behind the beat that you're hearing in the background? You know what I mean? So. Yeah, bless them up, bless them up. Wanna big up on yourself. You know what I mean? Again, my name is Reynard Bryan. You know what I mean, I will be your host for this and every episode. Um yeah, so we could go right into the topic. So the topic of discussion, let me get comfortable. The topic this week is your relationship versus your inner peace. Now, when you think about your relationship one may immediately jump to you know your man or your woman your little boyfriend and your little girlfriend but what about the relationship between parents and children what about the relationship between friends you know what about kins what about your brother or your sister what about you know just any farmer relationship what about the relationship with self which is very important what about the relationship with self now the question or the topic 
at hand shows that there's an option you know when you're put in that place to choose between your relationship or your inner peace you're in a tough position you know what i mean you're very you're in a very tough position no also the next question i want to ask is how sentimental is this relationship how 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 important how much value do you place on this relationship that could cause it to be impacting your inner peace in a negative way where it makes you feel like you're suffocating makes you feel like you're fighting with yourself daily you know how much value is too much value you know where it feels like you're drained that you're draining yourself daily no me really i think about the fuck say if somebody is placed in a position where you have to choose between your peace and your relationship you're in a very fucked up position because why not have both isn't that the aim of being in a relationship for this so not give you peace or bring you peace because you should have peace within before you enter into a relationship so you should add you know or, or amplify that peace that was already within you know so i think we are we're we are, we we're fucked up is we basically out here seeking peace externally but not spending the time to create that peace and that balance internally you know because you cannot attract what you're not even though they say yeah you know opposite attract cool we see that we know that but we're not talking about the level we are talking about alignment we are talking about attracting spiritual connections you know you 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 will radiate whatever energy that's within and therefore someone that's on that frequency will spot it and then be drawn to you you know what i mean so if this is done in a in a, in a spiritual way then chances are you're not gonna really there so back with who oh, are fake your peace or not now let's take it from the standpoint of relationship when you come on to spousal relationships you know um it's sad it's sad because you know i'm very i'm pretty young pretty young but i feel like this is not my first life you know i feel like i've experienced certain things before i'm a very old soul very very old soul so some of these things most of these things that's going on nobody is i don't find them attractive they don't attract me they're not all you know you make you come off as boring sometimes but guess what the cool things are not so cool to me so with that said i see a lot of these relationships that's going on no it's just the trends being followed of social media nobody now take no time to find out themselves nobody now take no time with self nobody now take no time to investigate you know who am i what are my triggers what are the things that they don't sit well with me and why you know are we asking ourselves those questions are we even asking ourselves am i the problem am i the reason why there's not happiness within or around me am i the heavy energy in the room but I'm seeking to blame somebody else for that heavy presence. Are we doing that self-investigation before we point fingers to say someone is affecting your peace or someone is not adding value to your space or your life? Are we doing that first? Because what I see is a lot of relationships nowadays it's 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 basically to distract someone from possible unhealed traumas that 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 the person had to endure whether it be in your childhood phase whether it be from your past your most recent relationship you know you know people call it rebound but me not look on it as rebound i think you just want to continue something 
where you never even get for clothes off, right? And then you sit back and you wonder how come you can't find nobody to really make you feel comfortable and happy that you know, nobody not bring you the happiness that you think you deserve and you think it, it, it should be granted to you now because you've struggled enough. But again, are we taking that time to sit down and figure out what balances you, what brings you peace before you expect such peace from a relationship? Because this is a very, 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 very deep topic. You know, very deep topic. And it makes me wonder so many things. So many things, guys. We think about relation and relationship. Two different things, you know. Two different things. Because you can have relation and not have relationship. Meaning the person that can be your brother and your sister, but you don't share a relationship. But in a share relation, cause you know the bloodline and the name, you know. But before we touch this up, we still depend the boyfriend and the girlfriend part of it, the husband and the wife part of it. Now I've personally experienced, you know, people will actually attack your peace. Like you can be perfectly fine by yourself, perfectly fine by yourself. You know, and then you, you you try to say, hey, here, here is peace of my peace. Let me see what you do with it. You know what I mean? And automatically, we get an intruder alert. But because maybe we are so soft-hearted, we, we tend to, you know, look past that intruder alert. Give somebody a chance because you see greatness within them. You know, no, you put off that peace where you get a person yeah. peace of your peace you get a person peace you see them take it and them crush it up and them throw it and i really value it but you you think you see good in this person you think you see good in this person so what you do is you then give them one next piece you get what i mean you give them a next piece them still do the same thing but here you are telling yourself that this person is it's good you know you see good in this person you know you know give up on them because you know say you know everybody deserves a second chance a third chance a fifth chance then before you think before you think deep enough i realize you give them so much pieces of your peace your peace is now torn to pieces by you but then we tend to blame the person that we end up giving so many pieces of our peace we tend to blame that person saying that person destroyed your peace but did they really did they really or because you never in great relationship or relation with yourself you ignored yourself to put somebody else above yourself and then you turn around blame the person to affect you and your balance when the reason why you might put somebody above you the reason why you might put somebody above you it can be good pum pum and as funny as you think it may sound make me fall make me fall closer make me fall closer as funny as you think this may sound good pum pum make enough man do foolishness forget themselves lose them way good khaki make enough woman do the same so is it safe to say that sex is enough for you to throw away your peace and your balance you know because you have a good sexual relationship with someone now what happens when that sex disappears your peace goes with it because now your peace is tied to that sexual connection that you share with this person you know what i mean no look at one financial relationship between spouses when we are tied because of money what happened when the money gone 
the so-called peace so you think you did have gone to because that's where your peace was tied to that's what your peace was tied to you know what i mean so then it becomes a trade-off it becomes a do i give up my peace and keep this good pum pum yeah or keep this good body yeah or keep this money yeah do i then sacrifice my peace for these materialistic returns or do you then say you know what fuck all of that i am way more valuable than all of that offer offer that's the challenge that's being faced these days by a lot of people and if nobody now say it let me say it then as a female if the decision is do you give up on the financial gain that you're getting and lose yourself you know because you get the money no no wrong you, know? you get the money you just give him some pump every now and then no no nothing i know i know i know nothing you're not a prostitute no it's just exchanging sexual favors for financial gain it's not prostitution no no prostitution no it's just it's just a exchange don't you yeah man yeah man it's not prostitution at all yeah let's just redefine let's call it let's call it boss bitch let's call it because you're a boss bitch you get shit done no you created that relationship between your spirit and your body or no let me not even say you created you destroyed that relationship between your spirit and your body but then you expect to find balance and peace <laughs> i wonder if you now follow me no true peace comes from maintaining that spiritual balance and also knowing that with that balance comes physical discipline and when you take on the road of committing to that physical discipline just know say come with wally just know say come with wally pa neglect just know say come with wally pa rejection wally pa mockery wally pa laugh after ridicule you come with it no when you have that spiritual groundedness and the physical discipline to know that the mockery and all that is just a phase then when you ride through that storm you become an example for a lot of people especially the one that we are mock you especially the one we have a lot to say about you especially those ones because then they themselves are miserable because they don't have that great relationship with self so them out here i try find somebody for repair them in the form of making them feel complete in the form of disguised peace you get me ago so let's just say case and point let's say a male is suffering from lack of a mother you see like how you can have females out here we have daddy issues you have men out here we have mommy issues so you see the things that my females do we suffer from the daddy issues males out here we do it we are suffer from mommy issues which means a lack of a mother motherly presence in the home can result in promiscuity promiscuity in men as well <laughs> it's serious yeah so may as a case on point a male that did not grow up with a mother you know i did not grow up with my mother i lost my mother when i was two years old so i can speak on this because i'm very guilty of it now subconsciously i've been searching 
for that presence, that gap to be filled. You know, and I've been searching in so many places just to find that that peace, that peace, that peace. P-E-A-C-E. P-I-E-C-E. I've been searching for that peace that's missing, that's been missing. I've been yearning for that. No, with me looking for this over and over in other women, other women. It lead me down a path of having so many girlfriends. Some lead to sex, some didn't. But it's just further down the line, me realize, eh? Hey, that gap that I'm trying to fill, I cannot fill it externally. I cannot fill it externally. I then had to create a relationship between that dark room that's been in existence ever since I was a child. Looking for love, looking for that, that, that female balance that I never had. I spent so many of my teenage years searching for that. When everybody know I big up them just say, yo, the boy, a gallus, you know? A gallus, man, yo, man, 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 yeah. Me never call myself a gallus yet. Not once. Because when the outside world I look upon it, say, yeah, gallus, and him, man, man, Within me, I was lost. I was searching. I was searching for that balance and that peace. Neglecting the relationship that I had to create within myself with my reality and accepting that this is a challenge that I cannot expect for somebody else to take on and win it for me. I have to do this myself. No, no, for we are suffer from that or suffer from them situation there. Situations like those, it could be a girl where I look for them father in so many other different men. It could be that one person hurt you so bad back then. You indirectly are hurt back other people without even knowing. You get me? Until you find somebody way willing to say, all right, let me be patient with you. Let me be patient with you. And the person who decide to be patient with you can be the one that is balanced. But you know on the other hand, you're seeking balance. So what happens is there is like two sides of the scale. Now the person that is balanced is here. That notices that you're seeking balance. Is willing to be patient with you. And give you all the energy that you need. To be balanced. But you then don't have that relationship between yourself and awareness. Self-awareness. You're lacking self-awareness. So no matter how much this person I pour into you, it's never enough. Because you yourself know what you want. So then this person that is balanced, then have to decide, do I maintain this relationship? And lose my self peace or do I trade my self peace knowing that one day this person will reciprocate the energy that I've poured into them and hope say it I got create that balance that is needed now we can have that synergy and we can be one as a couple and move on and be strong now in a world of deception a world where so much conditioning has taken place how can you trust that people are going to reciprocate the same energy how can you know that this person or who you whosoever you're in a relationship with now go tarnish your peace and run left you suck your energy dry and run left you how oh, y'all gonna know? No, when that happens, this person that was balanced and have peace, 
give a female energy or female energy this person now feels like they're balanced feels like they're in perfect relationship with themselves now move on left that one here, possibly drained if this person is not connected with the divine source of energy so they can get recharged then can left dry out and dead this person move on with the energy go find somebody else with it way worse than them when this person did find them take on this person say them are gonna be patient feed into this person this person take the energy and gone and then this person was just left in a situation where if you choose a relationship yeah a really little bit of energy when we get oftentimes guess what the choice lead to the relationship the relationship most time the relationship get chosen why because we're lonely as fuck out here we're lonely as fuck out here you know why we're lonely out here we're not on a self-awareness I want to affirm. So everything we get this shot, we will in free. Take a plate and go consume. I want to consume it and poison my body and my mind and my spirit. We didn't want to walk around with this anger. And I try going in relationships just for look somebody for tarnish. Just for look somebody peace for damage. And then make it look like somebody that damage yours. When I you were walk around with anger and everything in you. You get what I mean? So the topic is really the offspring of Do I choose to be patient with someone that obviously is taking me for granted? How much patience is too much patience? Now, I am not here. I'm not no, no marriage counselor. Neither am I a relationship counselor. But I can tell him I go through some things where I think it qualifies me to talk about them things. Yeah. How much patience is too much patience? You know, and how long can you lie to yourself? How long can you lie to yourself? How, 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 how much further you want to go with somebody where you realize it? When you can't walk the same road. It did nice when it start. Beautiful when it start. But then it just reached one part where it just not gonna further. But you're willing to still a put in, a put in, a put in, a put in, a put in. And nothing now come out. I wonder if you know that people can get so comfortable knowing that you're always giving your last to them. You're always going out your way to make sure that they're okay. I wonder if you know that people can get so comfortable in that where they subconsciously and consciously begin to always expect that from you. So they expect you to always lose yourself to maintain their comfort. But the day, the second, the minute when you choose to respect you and put a stop to certain things, Guess who become the guilty party? Guess who fuck up and wicked? Eh? Guess who fuck up and wicked? You. Because you chose to stand up for yourself. Now guess what would have happened should you always choose to stand up for yourself from the get-go? It limits your choices, limits your options, or limits your pool of options which is a great thing because then you have chosen to maintain your peace and your balance and your solitude and your serenity so if somebody can meet you up there so make them stay around there son what the fuck you want growing this to grab some out there somebody out there bag for if you see if you can you can shake up and say all right i want good one this and me see all right all right and then you complain so somebody affect your peace you know we gotta take a quick break. We gotta take a quick break. We gotta take a quick break. We will be back. <laughs> We're so far out. Our world 
is changing. Chaos and confusion are consuming. Everyone has a voice and feelings to be expressed. And yes, some are loud, some are voiced. But we choose to be the silent noise. So yeah, 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 we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. I wish Palmer did it again. <laughs> what a topic. What a topic. So I think the first the first phase of this episode, we kinda got deep into the relationship between spouses. Now let's talk about the relationship between parents and children. You know, and others, friends, you know, them something they know. Have you ever been in a situation where I know anyone that has to somewhat step aside and break the relationship that they have shared with, you know, it could be a mother, it could be a father, it could be a brother, it could be a sister, it could be a friend, it could be anyone. No, this is where relation and relationship differs you get what i mean this is where it differ you know because you see because of relation we tend to try to maintain a relationship because of the relation now i have experienced this as well and i'm guilty of this as well because you know if, if if this person is your brother this person is your cousin if this person is your lifelong best friend you tend to look past or not expect certain things from them you know out of the fact that you wouldn't do it like you wouldn't do certain things to them so you don't expect that in return you know what i mean but my thing is who the fuck are you if you tell somebody what them i go do or where they feel good for them or what opportunity they will jump at whenever it presents itself who are you to dictate that decision from somebody no as a child growing up you know we were told honey your, your mother your father your dears will belong no what if my mother wicked what if my father wicked we must honor them same way i mean days ago long bullshit bullshit yeah man utter rubbish i get it that as a child you definitely want to obey your parents but i'm saying when you grow up and you can decipher what's foolishness and what feeds your soul and the path that you're on you still have a love and respect them you know you still have a love and respect them but you're gonna now do it from a distance if you realize that the life that you choose 
uplift yourself is not in agreement of, of the with the life with them they choose for you no i am a rastafarian saying the most i will know what a rastafarian is i live by love i live by love you know what i mean i don't see my lifestyle as no form of religion you know i don't believe in in them stuff i don't hold them stuff highly i love spirituality i love when someone can identify with what makes them happy and steadfast be steadfast and stand in their truth comes what may i respect you no let's say my father was a pastor and my father start burn me out because me as a rasta and all of that no no do i choose to uphold the image or the reputation that my father had in his mind for me or do i then choose to uphold the life that i want to live for myself the thing that makes me feel balanced no i can say i still love you father because you are are you don't can't take that from you are my father regardless but then i have a life to choose now this boils over into any form of relationship whatsoever if someone that is related to you or affiliated to you no matter on what level does not support the life that you feel balanced and comfortable and complete to live why waste your time trying to keep this person around you're confusing your spirit you're confusing your spirit and you're wasting your time you get me mean and that's something think and that's something day like honestly like right now as i speak i know i'm in situations where people can say a lot of things about me and 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 they they swear it's true but within spirit spirit knows it's bullshit but i have accepted that people suffer from a lack of personality a lack of self identity a lack of self worth a lack of self love and it scares them to see someone that's not suffering from the same so what happens is they de- they, they then turn around and try to tarnish that person in the eyes of others hoping that these energies can be a collective movement to tarnish that person and that person's vision and journey what are nothing but just jealousy you know what are nothing but just pure jealousy like nobody never tell you not to take the time to find out yourself to find out what balances you and what brings you peace and i've had to step away from people i love just to maintain my focus and my alignment and my vision because if something if someone or someone had thrown me out of alignment i'm sorry my brother i'm sorry my sister i'm sorry baby sorry babe sorry daddy sorry mommy but am i even sorry but mother prefer tell them sorry now we tell self sorry i've had to tell self sorry a few times yeah i've neglected self a few times for, for other people but then no my find out say it's when me take a piece of my piece and give them and them gone and them happy i mean alone left in a dark room big up shane now for that song little big song people go listen to that song there shane now dark room big 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 song no i mean alone left in the dark room i cry everybody happy it's it's similar to <laughs> watch a situation here. it's similar to as a man saying any man that's listening to this podcast right now have you ever experienced a female in your life where you can't go work and you're coming and you're tired you're tired 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 brother me like you have no energy left and she's sexually aroused she want fuck and even though you tell her i say watch on a baby i'm tired she's still willing to do what you take forget you're aroused forget you're, you're erected 
And when she goes to a woman jump and she ride and she ride and she she do box stroke and pedal and boom flick and one bag or something. Enjoy for yourself. She happy, you know? Happy, go on her bed, push all her big finger and her mouth. Mm-hmm. Go on her bed. But guess what happened to you? Remember, so you never have no energy at all. Prior to the sexual. You know, exchange of energy. You must say you never have no energy at all. This not necessarily have to be your wife, you know. This can be like one, well, one girlfriend who just not know nothing about nothing and just want well, fuck every time. And sex is the biggest thing ever. No, that happened, and she got in her bed happy. You drained as shit. Drained, drained. Left you confused like. The girl and I realized that I never have nothing left in me. Cause we have no female feel you know? No female feel like from the from the from the from the pum pum can't get wet. It's supposed to get penetrated. No females if only no know. When a man penis stand up, it don't necessarily mean say more have sex. It don't necessarily mean say up for sex. Yeah. I know far I don't know what happened. I know that it mean. So back to what I say. Seeing. Woman jump and she get fear. Come. She get fear broke. She go in her bed and you mash up. Can't even sleep. Can you just you feel like I lost her you. She just take her and go on and she no business with you brother. She no business with you. No, a real woman would have realized. So watch out. The man tired. If I ever give him one little massage. I make him go on and bed go relax knowing that there is tomorrow. There's next week, there's whatever, whatever. And it mean say because the man no give you the sex no. It simply means say my cheat out the road all them something. I don't think the TV one you think. I don't think the TV one you think. But may I said that for say this. People out there with us during your last Friday your bridging. I no business. Because them themselves not a self awareness. They not a self control. And it's when you have it, you're hated by them. You get what I mean? You're hated by them. But the flip side of it is you attract them. Because them see it and them find it attractive because them want it, them lack it. But when them come close and try to rub it, and they can't rub it, instead of you just take time and learn from you and be patient, them just want to rub it. And when they can't get it, them try to tarnish you and because most of the times we're very patient with people we try to be patient with them people eh? and then they put you in our predicament for choose your relationship or your inner peace your relationship or your inner peace one should be able to have both and seek perfect balance in whatever relationship you choose to endorse get me one should have perfect balance in whatever relationship you choose to endorse my name is Reynard Bryan thank you for listening dose of substance I'll see you again next week please 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 like share subscribe comment comment let me know where you are if there's a topic you want me to discuss reach out to me yeah again the youtube channel is substance vivo substance vivo the instagram page is those of substance podcast so i'll see you again Next week, around them time, yeah. Until then, try to see if. See? Yes, I.